Yo, what is happening team? Welcome back to a new video here, down at a wee stream. And uh, it's turned out to be a really good session. I uh, went for a good wee run the other day, seen a few fish in here, so I made a decision today to put a few hours into it. I've seen three fish so far and I've caught two. And uh, yeah, no, I've probably seen four actually, but. No, I pulled a nice brown out of this piece of water, so I'm very excited to show you guys, but. I mean, if this is how the day is going to go, we're going to have a ripper. So, enjoy the video, remember to like, subscribe, um, yeah, fly fishing content. It's the peak of summer. Yo! Yo! Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. You can tell by the water in front of me, it's small stream tactics today. Um, came, oh it's a bit of a, bit of a hike. Um, from where I live, but I was out for a run there on the week Really trying to get my fitness up since my health's better and uh, I came across a lot of really good fish in this stream. I haven't fished this stream for Quite a while now Last season there wasn't any fish in it um, And the season before there was only a few where the season before that so three years ago I caught ten out of here really nice fish too and uh, yeah, when I was out for a run, I think I spotted 10. And they were all good fish. All like 2 to maybe just shy 5. Yeah, so I've got the fly rod. My mate Marcus was supposed to be coming today, but um, unfortunately he's got work. But it's just me today. And uh, yeah, the Scott Radian 6 way. So I'm going to set this up. I've already spotted a couple of fish just up from here, just in this little slack sort of slow pull. I think I'm going to go dry dropper. Um, just because I did see one rise, I'm pretty sure. So I think we're going to go something really small, maybe like a size 16 Royal Wolf. And then maybe an unweighted pheasant tail underneath, just because it is really shallow water. So we're only going to be sort of that underneath the dry fly. So yeah, we'll get set up and uh, we'll get into it. Right, so we're all set up and uh, let's get out the water. When I was here last time, there was I saw three really nice fish in this pool, so and I saw one up the top earlier, just slowly cruising. So we slowly make our way along here. I reckon we'll, we'll spot one. I saw one when I was setting up down there, but I think that fish is pushed up. Didn't see him back there. So hopefully we get a chance. The fish right down in front of me here. Nice. In the water. Get them out of those banks. Easy. Trying to do that. Good fish. One little flick. Get out that fish. Good fish too. Real nice fish. Look at that. That's what he's trying to do, getting those, those sticks. I've only got four pound on as well, so. Oh, look at that. He was right in front of me, just sitting there. He was circling my dry fly. And um, I seen him, and then seen his mouth go on the dry go under. Really nice fish. That's first cast at a fish. We got him straight away. I reckon if we bring him down here, we'll um, get him out of this top section. Because when I was here, there was three fish in here. It's a really nice fish, probably four. Four pound, I reckon. Oh, look at the bend of that rod. Nice fish. Top of the nymph. It's that little category three red beaded pheasant tail sort of thing. It's definitely not ready yet, though. Oh, so good. That jumpy dip is epic. Oh, don't tell me that dry's stuck in him. No, it's not. So he's just really dogging me. 
keeping them away from the, all the sticks and everything and that way we can sort of not so stress a bit more. I think that was the fish that I saw when I was setting up. And there's a shallow pace here, that's a nice fish. Got him! Look at that. Classic. Good fish too. Yeah, hey, mate. Nice. Yeah, good fish. Is that a meal or a trout? That's a trout. Yeah. Alright, we'll uh, get some photos and set the tripod up and we'll release them. How good team. First cast, got set up. I'm pretty sure this is the same fish that I saw up on the left hand, left hand inside edge. Got the fly rod set up, dry dropper, first cast. A little red, red bead headed. Great fish. Look at that. So good. We'll send him home. Well, we'll put him home now. Showed the, showed the tripod and the camera. Release him just up in this little inside pocket here. Nice fish though. Three pound. Nice. Keep him in the water. Nice and oxygenated up the front of the current. He's definitely ready to go. But have a look at that. Three pound. Nice brownie. About one of ten that I saw the other day. Put him home. See you buddy. There we go. Phew. Well, that is a very good thorn. First cast of the day. First fish of the day. That's good. That's what we want to see. I uh, had a feeling that fly was going to do the job. Let's get back into it. Got that fish out of that run pretty quickly and got him down. So if there's anything up the top section, which I know there are other fish in there, I should be able to have a good chance. That's my glasses that I'm wearing. Tonic Eyewear Moe's. Very, very good glasses. I uh, use these a lot and uh, had great success with them. Especially in this sort of water. So put them back on. Over my head. Put the strap behind my head so they don't fall off. Get on that bank. Walk up and see if we can get another one. It's really promising that. Um, first cast, first fish sort of thing. They tend to be very spooky. That one doesn't hesitate. Took it straight away. That sun's trying to break out too, so we may even get a hatch at some point. Which would be pretty cool. But yeah, hand of the game. I'll be happy with four fish. Very happy with four. I mean, I'm happy with one, but four would definitely be my best stay on this stream. Alright, just found another one. This is a quite a nice fish this one. Looks quite decent size. So try to cast it. Yep, oh, damn it, took it, missed him, oh, pricked him, oh, he's a good fish too, come over and took them up straight away, might just leave him for five or ten minutes or something and see if he comes out again, he's just in front of me here, I don't know what he's doing, hopefully he starts feeding again, Oh yes. But I've already had a had a shot at this fish. So I don't know how the hell it's gonna go. He's coming over. Oh he took it again. Took it again. Oh, bro. Ah, took it again. What's the chances of that? Surely he's not going to take it a third time. That's fucking annoying. Like he's a good fish. Like it definitely be like two to three pound, probably three. 
missed them twice. Not the goods at all. At least I know there's a fish in here. I mean, if I see him again, of course I'm going to have a cast at him, but I doubt he'd take it a third time. He charged straight over to that. Like, I thought he was spooked and then took it. It's obviously a pretty hungry fish. So I didn't see any other fish since that last one that I pricked two times. Two bloody times. Still didn't get him. So I've jumped on the other side, got high up. Maybe there's a few fish through here, so be happy to get a couple more. Like, um, realistically, my goal is four fish. Um, and when I've seen, you know, 10, 11 fish, four is good, but because I've already missed one, I'm like, uh, maybe three fish. But hey, I've already got one. We're off the board. We've got, we're on the board. We've got the bloody skunk out the boat, so we keep continuing. There's a few more little pools and stuff up through here that you can see, but the rest of it's quite niggly. So we'll continue anyway. Fingers crossed we can get one more. Right, found another fish. You can probably even see it on the GoPro. It's going onto the right hand side bank. Nice fish too. Really nice fish. Feeding away really nicely. I think my best bet is to probably get down. Yeah, he's feeding real nice. It's a good fish. He's probably a bit bigger than the other one I got. Yeah, he's, oh, I he just took a dry. Just took a dry off the surface. This might be our first dry fly fish of the year. So I think I'm going to get down here, just below, obviously, so I don't spook him. Hopefully we get this fish. This is a really good one. There he is. Dry fly. Oh, ho, ho. dry fly. That's sick. Dry fly take. <laughs> I thought he was going to take the nymph. Took the dry. Big fish too. That is a big fish for in here, guys. That is a good fish for in here. Took the dry. You freaking beauty. He's trying to get under that bank on the other side. Smart fish. We'll keep him out from this top piece. So there might be another one in there. Oh, dry fly fish. He was coming over and I thought oh, he's going to take the nymph. Took the dry. Oh, it's a nice fish. Get him out from this fast pace. I think we might be right here, guys. Oh, really good fish. Oh, it's sick. Gotta love small stream fishing. Oh, that was bloody epic. There <laughs> you go. Got a bit of a spectator up there as well, so he's seen that all firsthand. That is a good fish. Oh, look at that. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that, guys. Dry fly. Look at this fish. Oh, what a fish. First dry fly fish of the year. Oh, he's probably four. I reckon he's four pound team. Pretty close to it anyway. Put the rod there. Oh, that was sick. Took the dry. Stay there, stay there. It's gonna weigh you. Three and a half. Three and a half pound. He's got a bit of a funny face, but oh, smoke the dry. That is sick. Oh, right, we'll get some photos of this one for sure. Get the camera hooked up on the tripod oh yes that is that's sick oh that was sick I said I didn't see any fish here the other day when I ran past seen this fish sitting there and I was like oh yeah he's not really doing too much took a dry and I said hey look this could be our first fit dry fly fish of the air and it, and it was it's a bloody good one too you know, Scott right in six weight doing light work. It's got a bit of a funny jaw this fish.
All right, let's send them home. Cool fish. Here we go, team. Look at that. First drop off fish there. Got a wee funny jaw on them, but that is a beautiful fish. You can't go wrong with that. It's been in the water the whole time. Yeah, look at that. Takes off. Wondering what the hell just happened. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. How good was that? That was madness. First dry fly fish of the year. Oh, how good. So, I'm over the moon with that. Two fish already. That's the dry fly it took. We category three. Sort of Dad's favourite. <coughs> <coughs> Last symptoms away with new Demazin allergy and hay fever relief. And uh, yeah, I don't. I only got them about in the lower end of the pool too, so there could be more. Fingers crossed. I did say before that I'd be happy with four fish, and we got two. Three, I'd be ve I'd be pretty happy with, but four, you know, that's my best day on the stream. So we've set our standards high, and at the moment, it's uh, it's going our way to success. So definitely keep going up this run. Have a look right up the top. Cross on this side, nice and slow, quiet. This is another piece where I've caught quite a few fish over the past few years, just in this little piece. Oh, yep, yep, there's a good fish in here. Is it a fish? I can't tell. Yep, there is. Yeah, a good fish. Yeah, it is a good fish. This is the biggest fish of the day, I'd say. Yeah, very good fish. Here it comes. Dry. Oh no! It snapped me off. It snapped me off. He took the dry. Oh! He snapped me off and he took the dry. You're kidding, he's still there. Oh, took the dry fly, he snapped me off. Oh. So unfortunately, that fish behind me spooked in the end. Took my dry fly and um, threw it straight away, snapped me off, but it continued to feed, so I think it was like four or five different fly changes, unfortunately, but it is the way it goes, so. It was good days fishing in the end. I got two. I hooked four. Seen a few others, but um, at least I know there's some good fish in the system at the moment. So all in all, it was a good day out. I caught one on a dry fly too. I was so happy with that. So no good fish, real good fish. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, drop a comment below. Um, yeah, I've got lots of content ready for YouTube, so it's awesome. So. Uh, I've been having really good feedback and everything and it seems like you guys at home are enjoying the videos So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate everything and um, Yeah, let's see if we can get some some big fish on the fly rod and the spinner rod this season. So See you on the next one. Peace